this is like you know a lesson uh, chapter 101 how to make an original superhero film that's on my thumbnail as well so farad what are the initial thoughts like i'm i know that you have written a whole uh, detailed review as well but to express it with your voice now you know what 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 went through you when you were uh, watching that 2 hour 45 minutes I mean, my so Keshav, thank you for having me. And uh, there might be little network issues, but uh, that's okay. So uh, it's just that uh, what I felt was that my job was dropping every minute. You know, like how can this be? How can this be? Like you know, it is such a perfect origin story. One of my favorite origin stories I think I've seen of a superhero film. I think normally, uh, if you see uh, an origin story of a superhero, it is more likely, uh, uh, you know, to get a little drab in between, or you know, there's too much of build up, you know, before uh, the protagonist eventually becomes a superhero. Here, there was build up, but it was so interesting and so logical. The screenplay was very meticulous, you know. Uh, each thing was happening for a reason. And one thing led to another. It was no, there were no creative liberties that were there, you know, that directly would, uh, filmmakers would otherwise take. And another thing that I really liked was that it was true to its um, area in which it was situated. It did not take the drama into space or some other region. You know, that I think was uh, quite nice and quite refreshing. Uh, and again, I doff my hat. I don't have a hat, but I doff my hat to the Malayalam industry. Amazing. This has been an amazing year. And the last hurrah has been the loudest, I think. Absolutely. It's like Kerala saved the best for the last. And uh, let's uh, take the comments as well. Krishna says hi. And then Vivek says the film's budget is 25 crore. We know that. And that's another beauty of the film that, you know, it's like one two hundredth of the budget which Hollywood films get almost for uh, superhero films and here these people in 25 crore they have made a film which India oh. can be proud of. They have made Absolutely. a film where you don't really crib about the uh, special effects because there have been attempts before in Bollywood and other industries where they have tried making superhero films but there you know you always had complaints with the VFX and all but these guys knowing the limitations that they had you know, to to know your limitations and still be able to deliver uh, a, a product like that, I think that is commendable. And uh, uh, okay. the fact that we have just last week, we have finished watching Spider-Man. Okay. Uh, and now watching this, I felt so proud uh, that, you know, India also has such a, uh, you know, a superhero now uh, with, with a proper origin story. That's very important here because... A lot of times, origin story is not as much, uh, you know, focused upon. But here, the origin, the f first half an hour to 45 minutes, the, when they were establishing it, it felt so organic. Absolutely. Absolutely organic. I'm 100% with you here, you know. And I'd written the exact same thing, you know. Last week, it was Spider-Man. And you would get that feeling, like, when would we, you know, graduate to the next level? And we have had a share of superheroes. Krish, uh, Flying Jet, Mart Pudars, Niyota, all of those. But uh, were they, uh, with all due respect again, were they international level uh, stories there in their superhero movies? I don't think so. It was pretty elementary for a superhero film. Flying Jet was a disaster, by the way. <laughs> I, I don't even count it in the same category. Uh, uh, because when, when I was thinking today, uh, when the film ended, I was like, how many superheroes have we had? Mr. India, uh, Ravan, Krish, uh, uh, Bhavesh Joshi and Marth Kodar. I didn't even think of uh, Flying Jet. Now only when you mentioned it. So I think we should refrain <laughs> from uh, putting this in, uh, in that category. But... Uh, you know, another thing which, which, which really fascinated me here was uh, how the antagonist was, you know, uh, almost at par with, with the uh, protagonist. Because you have to have, like, uh, if, if, if you have to have a Batman, you have to have somebody uh, against him, you know. Uh, like, like a joke. Uh, yeah. So here, I think for me, 
at times you know there were times when actually shibu stole the limelight from uh, 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 from jason uh, shibu jason. stole the limelight from jason so so for me i think another uh, silver lining in this film is the fact that they casted such a brilliant actor for that vill- villainous role and it's it's like you have sympathy for him as well at times because because of how the society has treated him so you know uh, one of the very very important factors or points in the film is uh, both of them are creation of the society like you know how uh, uh, jason's dad had told that uh, the the will to fight will come from within because the people around you want you to win and on the other hand uh, if you talk about shibu he uh, used the powers negatively because of how the people around him behaved with him so it's all about uh you know with great power comes great responsibility so that is applicable so much applicable here so both of them had great powers but how they use it was because of how the society actually behaved with them absolutely and uh, also one thing to note is that uh, both of them were average joes you know they weren't a uh, superhero or super villain in their own personalities they were like very ordinary people they were represented like that of course tovino thomas is a very big star uh but uh, the character that he was there his appearance did not seem as if a very intimidating personality neither was the antagonist that was played by uh, guru soma sundaram um he uh, again uh, did not uh, uh, exude of that uh, persona of that antagonist both were very human uh, normally if you see the superhero movies are guilty of uh, you know uh, painting the antagonist completely black you know they there's no uh, in between you know between white and black it's so here the character was gray and slightly towards white also if i may add you know yeah. that's why there is this sympathy with that character as you said uh, so i mean it was just a perfect foil you know uh, it was just amazing to yeah, see uh, the woman side and sympathize with them yeah you know somewhere it reminded me of the amazing spiderman 2 where the electro guy oh, you know yeah. so he was again yeah, okay. yeah he played a common man you know with with very uh, uh, basic dreams or ambitions that a common man would have and he was you know uh, his transformation was very kind of similar to uh, what shibu had over here uh, so and 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 you know the music again uh, being a composer the music was so apt i don't know i i have to see who did the music uh, if somebody can tell us in the comments but the music was like score and the songs were placed so beautifully like it didn't feel like uh, they are imposing the songs which can easily happen in a hollywood uh, in a bollywood uh, superhero film you know you have seen krish you have seen uh, flying jet uh, there there were some unnecessary songs but here the songs were taking the narrative forward so yeah. so yeah uh, i mean minnal murli is out and out winner for me and i i just want to uh, you know ask the people that 26 people are watching us right now what they thought of uh, the film as well we'll uh, take your comments as well in the uh, session here right now uh, so vivek says uh, basil said in an interview that they use more, mostly practical effects instead of more vfx i think that's also for cost cutting right because since they had lesser budget so of course uh, it made sense to uh, go for less of vfx and uh, knowing, again knowing the limitations so uh, so uh, now farad uh, other people who who are equally important uh, in the film i was really impressed by that uh, kid uh, who played his nephew uh, very very uh, contagious uh, uh, smile and you know the screen presence and you know it's like <laughs> it's like how batman had alfred so <laughs> this guy <laughs> this guy was helping him you know uh, educating him about uh, american superheroes and all and and uh, provided such a comic relief in between yeah absolutely even he was my favorite you know he was like pretty integral to the part you know it's surprising that in a superhero movie uh, you know the main protagonist did not know about american superheroes which is understandable coming from the area that he was coming to didn't may not have had that much exposure but uh, you know that was a little quirky element that was there and nicely tackled other characters also i think femina george uh, or uh, sneha babu they all 
uh, you know they had their parts you know that when she, the introduction scene of femina george when she uh, she's not shown but uh, that uh, anish guy who, who is declining her marriage gets kicked and gets fall is fallen from the uh, first floor <laughs> so that was hilarious the humor is also i think was on point here even though i watched the malayalam i watched the original language one but it never felt as if uh, you know it was universally appealing so yeah, it yeah. did not get lost in translation for that matter though I the hindi one was available but i opted for the I original i know it's, when i started the film it started in hindi and i was like exactly. they are saying devi or sachin or what what just happened and then i had to change it uh, from the audio section uh, <laughs> and uh, it's 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 just that you know uh, we're talking about that female uh, uh, lead uh, i think uh, she had such a pivotal role at the end also you know uh, we want really uh, uh, Yeah, you know, going, we'll we are not spoil anything for people because I'm sure uh, a lot of people have not yet seen it, so it's a spoiler-free uh, uh, discussions. And so, so that girl has played such an important role throughout the film uh, because you know there, there, there has to be uh, a prominent female presence in these kind of films because we have seen like you know how Mary Jane has been there in Spider-Man. Uh, there's been uh, you know Gwen in the Amazing Spider-Man, and then in uh, Batman also. Uh, so uh here again uh, i think both the female leads uh, were very very important in uh, uh, both both the guys uh, the antagonist and protagonist lives but i am glad that with shibu with the minnal murli they didn't really overdo the romantic angle right uh, because again yeah. it's very easy to uh, put those kind of melodrama and those cheesy songs but they stayed away from that uh, and I, i think that was the wisest decision of the film isn't it yeah yeah totally i mean they stuck to uh, what subject matter they had at hand and they were successful for quite a very long period i just had minor issues towards the end uh, which is i think understandable you know it went well, into it, that cliche of a, a superhero you know uh, mm. template that was there towards the end uh, my think, thoughts maybe uh, just just the probably so length was a little too much for me but uh, then if you are okay. enjoying the film you don't really uh, care yeah. that much about it and uh, secondly uh, by when you say you were a little disappointed with the end so i wasn't you... disappointed i think it uh, fell into that uh, cliched mode so to say when the entire film was very organic uh, mm-hmm. one after the other so okay. towards the end it got a little cliched it was still good I still enjoyed the you know the final phase of, but I felt it was a little cliche at the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't have deducted that half star. I was very tempted to give that much more. <laughs> well, Farad, you gave four stars. I think that's also uh, good enough uh, for yeah, for, yeah. for a first because it's a first, right? Be- yeah, 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 yeah. It is always special, and first impression is the lasting impression, if not the last impression. So I think I'm I'm very damn sure there is going to be a Minal Murli two as well. and how great would it would be if some day we can have our own uh, verse you know uh, indian verse or indie verse if i were to put it like that you know where you can have a minal murli where you can have a krish probably where you can have a bhavesh joshi so something like that uh, i mean uh, because because of the success uh, ideally this will be getting i'm sure you I, know, uh, I just wanted to add one more thing that I think this movie deserved a big screen release. By the way, this but, uh, wasn't uh, really meant for the small screen. It was a but, very. But don't you think coming out directly on Netflix will give it more worldwide, more users, uh, more uh, audience? Maybe that's the that's the flip side of it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Definitely, it would. i think also the cost i think they would uh, be a little skeptical about that 25 crore is a little higher for a malayalam malayalam film which are normally i think made within 3 4 or 5 crores so maybe that may have also been one of the reasons but i think it would have recovered anyway uh, netflix would have paid a bomb after the theatre so sure, not sure. as and uh, i think now uh, once they see the success and the fact that it will be trending uh I, if if the next one is also going to be an, a netflix original then i think the budgets will go <laughs> multifold up oh, uh, oh yeah. and it will be required as well because now the uh, benchmark is set so high 
with this kind of a budget and you know less vfx as the director himself said so the next one they would definitely want to go one step further right uh, just like uh, every superhero film we have seen in america by the next time by the next uh, part comes by the time you know they they somehow improve every every department so now uh, minnal murli's competition will be minnal murli itself because otherwise <laughs> in india you don't have a lot uh, in this genre yeah so I'm sure, uh, uh, this is going to be a very interesting uh, series coming f- going forward uh, so free style says is impressive to do a convincing superhero film with low budget and still make it promising really enjoyed the movie as a whole and performances yeah i mean performance you you can never question or doubt the performance in any malayalam film you can question the story you can question the music you can question uh, blah 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 but performances usually are very well done because you know people are cast there because of their skills more than their looks that's something i have noticed in the last it doesn't go on perception it's the uh, one industry that doesn't go on perception yep, it yep, goes yep. on skills so i think that way uh, that way perfect casting uh and uh, i am so happy for somebody like a tovino uh because you know what he did in this film was i mean just to just to add like 30 seconds more on tovino that uh, he started i think uh, as a absolutely side character i think it was in uh, uh, uh isra i think okay. he played the inspector which was quite inconsequential uh, it was prithviraj the star of the show and then look at his journey he ha- is now a superhero in i yep. think 4 uh, years so yep. that's like an amazing journey for tovino as well though i'm so happy for tovino thomas and i think uh, the fanboy in me has woken for tovino no no absolutely and uh, uh, credits to uh, basil as well for you know uh, casting him in that role seeing the potential in uh, tovino uh, to be able to pull out this sort of a performance and and he looked every part you know he oh, he yeah, looked yeah. like he belonged in this world he looked like you know he is minnal murli and uh, uh, i mean i am i am running out of words you know how to uh, what what more adjectives i can put just because every department in this film uh, that they, they did its thorough research uh, it seems like pre production would have been very very strong you know to be able to uh, deliver this kind of a product so Uh, be it the uh, recce for the location i mean look at the location you know uh, that that village seemed like a perfect fit for this kind of a uh, back story so uh, all in all i think a great uh, uh, stuff coming from malayalam cinema as usual uh, i'll take the last comment uh, keshav fahad new fahad new movie Mala- okay yeah i i saw the trailer so uh, check it out fan boy i saw it uh i i'll try to make a video on that as well and it's it's first time uh, fahad and ar rahman have come together as well so uh very very excited and it's a theatrical release so it will be the first fahad fasil film that i'll probably go check out in theaters so once again thank you farad for joining and uh, thank you guys for watching we are so so happy that um, malayalam cinema exists in india and it's making films like minnal murli creatine and kitchen joji and you know what not Uh, yes yes everything so uh, i'm glad that i i, I get to uh, talk to you guys about malayalam films so thank you uh, like the video if you can and uh, we'll see you very soon thank you